Yeah, so guys, so ito nakaakit na siya successfully dito sa papuntang coffee rush. So tingnan niyo. Again from Morning. So nakita tayo ng sa loob ng Suzuki Espresso. So, i-review natin to, especially kung how it handles uh, inclined uh, terrain or roads. So, we're going to take this to the to East Ridge 3, kung saan nandun yung coffee rush. At tataas natin dun sa Colonel Tito Road, yung winding road on Bataas Mountain Road. So, loaded kami, four people inside, with no baggage. Let's see how it performs. So, three cylinders lang to guys eh? one liter so so far dun sa ordinary road yung level road sa highway so okay lang okay lang performance niya okay yung suspension okay yung uh, the acceleration so far for a small car no? ngayon malalaman natin ang performance niya pag taas ng butok sabi nung sa sales nakakakito ng bag yan meron daw ginawang taxi sa bagyo okay so we'll see so try this Okay guys, ito na ang Colonel Guido Road, pataas na punta ng Coffee Rush. At ito yan, hindi pa tayo sa lower part. So mamaya, pataas na yan. Ito nyo yung speedometer natin dito. So ngayon, nasa second gear ako. Yan, pataas na. Kaya yung tumataas. So kita nyo, merong mga irregularities dito sa sa surface ng road eh. mga cracks, may mga ditch so, so far okay naman siya second gear yan, so dito tayo sa may konting palengke area at yung parang marketplace yan, uh, may drainage dito ayan, 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 ayan. Drainage, may mga metal bars. What? Yes. Yeah. Actually, that's the first gear I'm going to end. That's the second gear we're going to end. First gear, drainage. Yeah, I think hot out. Switch to second gear. Ay, patas na. Second gear. Hindi na tayo tumataas. Ayan, kita nyo nga. Medyo, medyo may mga ditch. Mga dinadaanan ng water pipes. Ayan. Taas na. Oh. Ang accelerator ko guys, uh, halfway down. So hindi pa siya all the way push down. Halfway. Second gear. Ayan, kinoto ko ngayon ang accelerator at second gear. And all the way down ay accelerator ko at second gear. And tingnan yung speedometer ko. At 30, 30. Second gear, oh, nahihirapan siya dito sa part na yun. Switching, switching sa first gear. Tapos nahihirapan siya dito. Actually, kahit yung isang malaking sasakyan dala ko yung rebo, nahihirapan siya dito. Pero so, dito, kaya dun sa nung Toyota Revo yung luma at second gear, kaya nung magsuswitch ako dito ang second gear ulit So dun siya palagi nahihirapan I expect iba naman yung ibang kotse dun din nahihirapan Kasi steep na siya dun Okay, nahihirapan ulit siya Mabagal siya at second gear Okay, hindi pa ako nag-shift sa first gear dito ang hirap ng shift na nag-shift na ako sa first gear so dalawang beses so far siya nahirapan sa second gear so limang tao ang sakay ko ngayon kasama ako at 
Switch ako liyo sa second gear oh, dito. Hindi kaya. <laughs> Switching ulit sa first gear. So, kita nyo kanina, oh, medyo kumadjut siyang ganun eh. Kasi itong espresso, hindi pwedeng bigla-bigla yung ano, press mo sa accelerator, especially sa first gear. Kasi yung nag-ano siya, parang nag- uh, uh, sinisinok siya. <laughs> Kailangan uh, maluman ay eh. swabe yung pag-press mo dun sa accelerator. Ayan. Second gear tayo guys, oh, mapataas ulit. Dito nahirapan ulit dito yung mga sakyan o Hindi na niya kayo ulit o Switching, first gear o Ayan, first gear ulit tayo So tatlong beses na yun guys Tatlong beses dito sa Colonel Guido Road Paakit ng coffee rush Na kailangan ko mag-shift sa first gear from second gear Limang tao sa kain nitong Suzuki Espresso Dito na guys ang game Since wala pa akong sticker dito So ngayon nasa third gear ako Ayan. Approaching coffee rush Third gear Kaya-kaya niya Ayan yung mga trucks Nakishift ako sa Second gear Pero panahin muna natin siya ah, Sige, hindi siya dito Okay, sige, first gear tayo Ayan, Ayan pababa dito sa part na ito Itong coffee rush sa right side Ayan, coffee rush Tada! Pababa tayo Shift ako sa third gear Ayan. Hindi naka-depress ang accelerator ng pahak Tapos na tas ulit Ayan, tapos mababa ulit uh, Third gear pa rin, hindi naka-press ang accelerator pahak Naka-accelerate siya kasi pababa Pero may engine braking pa rin Kaya okay na so, Dito, nagka-press na ako ng brake Otherwise, didiretso ako sa Laguna Lake Ayan, lagod na lake of guys. Tada! So dito kailang hinahinay ko yun kasi didiretsyo talaga kayo dun sa lake. So magiging submarine na kayo. Ayan, so okay. So nakita nyo yung performance nitong espresso sa paglakit dito sa papuntang coffee rush dito sa East Ridge Street. So okay siya. Tatlong beses siya na ngailangan sa first gear coming from second gear. Ayan okay. So tingnan natin mamaya yung Uh, features nito. So guys, so ito, nakaakit na siya successfully dito sa papuntang coffee rush. So tingnan nyo, ang clearance niya dito sa ilalim is very impressive yan. So walang problema dun sa mga humps-humps dito sa Pilipinas. Alam nyo naman ng mga humps dito sa Pilipinas. The speed bumps here are so uh, there is no standard <laughs> most of the time. And uh, They're quite, they can, you know, they can just uh, get you by surprise on the road. And they're not even painted, most of them. So this has good clearance. And this already has uh, alloy wheels. Yeah, unfortunately, I scratched this earlier when I was uh, going through this narrow road. And there was the, the corner of the sidewalk was very square. So I scratched it just a bit. So I don't know how I'm going to fix it. Maybe I'll just use some metal, uh, you know, let's scrape it a bit and then, then let's see what will happen. So orange is a very uncommon color for a car these days. Most of the common colors are gray, black, white, uh, and not these fruit colored uh, paint so this is uh, something refreshing which is why I chose this color because most of the time cars here are very drab so this is quite new 
and uh, yeah, I like it. It's a very cheerful color. So inside, uh, you might think it's very cramped, but it's actually very spacious. Lots of leg room, and you could just uh, adjust the chair all the way back and all the way, yep, forward. Yeah, yeah. You can still push this a bit more. Yeah, uh, let me try it. Yep, there you go. So that's as far as it can go forward and back there. So that's how far it can go, and there's still enough room here. See, still lots of leg room. Yeah. So I'm keeping. Okay, I'm keeping the doors open because I uh, found out that the interior gets very hot. Yeah, it gets very hot if you leave this car in the sun. It's probably because of the dark dash and everything's black actually. And the, this has a gray uh, seat cover, so it, it the interior can absorb lots of heat. So I'm keeping the doors open. So got two speakers here on the door, one on the left, and the others on the right door. So it's okay, fairly okay, stereo speakers. Uh, the consoles in the middle, you've got a decent speedometer, digital. And this is the entertainment center where you, where you can access the radio. And we've got some ports here, a couple of ports, USB port. And, uh, you know, I think this is what you call the lighter port, the traditional lighter port. And... Yes, it's got a five-speed transmission, and handbrake here, and the seatbelt uh, locks. You've also got seatbelts for the back, passengers, and uh, a container here. You've got toilet paper, mm, not for the reason you're thinking of. And you've got containers here for the, you know, uh, glass, whatever drink you might be having. And over here on the side, on the door, we have our water container slot, which is perfect for this uh, aqua flask, like that, see, it's perfect, see, uh, let's open this, the back, yeah, it's actually very hot guys, <laughs> I think it's going to rain, uh, maybe in a few hours, uh, what's this, I don't know what this is, uh, but I think it's, it opens up. Maybe it hides a screw, maybe. I don't know. So we have a, a platform here at the back where you can put your bag. And uh, behind it, let's see. Let's open the, the back. Let's open the back. Okay, so this is the the compartment, the back compartment. We have our manual here. It came along with the basic tools, you know, for the wheels. And underneath here is the spare tire. Okay, there's a hole here that I can pull and there's the tire. It's not an alloy, this doesn't have an alloy hub. It's just a basic spare, unfortunately. But it, it will serve its purpose, you know. If you, in case you get a flat tire, uh, so it's, it's very spacious, you know. You can put lots of bags in here. Very spacious. Let's pull back a bit so that you can see. See, you can put your, some bags here. You can put your uh, bigger luggage in here. So as you can see, this light, this light doesn't have a bulb, uh, but this, this one on the left, yeah, it lights up. This white, this white uh, light. Uh, so the reason why this doesn't have a bulb because the dealer told us that because uh, in Europe this is the standard. If you're backing up, only this one on on the left side will light up. So that's something new for me because Suzuki is supposed to be a Japanese brand, an Asian brand, but uh, this model 
uh, was supposed to have been assembled in India. So this is an India. I think it's called Maruti in India. I think. Yeah, let's close it. Okay, there you go. You can see that the grill is actually just plastic. I've seen some models where this is uh, plated chrome. So I guess you can have that done in some auto shops. And uh, look at this grill. It's also made of plastic, also part of the bumper. And this is the radiator. It's only on this side. On this side, this is just a solid plastic. So it's only here that uh, we have our air intake. And at the bottom, still our air intake, still on this side only. And on this side, there's nothing. Yes. So we have our yeah, ready-made uh, indent indentations here for lights in case you want more uh, fog lights assembled or attached uh, this is fairly good car uh, especially in these times when gasoline and other fuel prices are going up it's very economical you can actually go 21 kilometers for every liter and i think the capacity is just uh, the same as other normal bigger cars like sedans testing naman namin ito sa kasagsaga ng ulan dito sa Antipolo so, pupunta na kami doon sa medyo mataas na lugar sa pababa so, downhill naman ito ngayon sa Vietnam malakas na ulan thunderstorm dito sa Antipolo pupunta tayo sa Cabrera Road we are on our way to Cabrera Road downhill so, this time we are going to test the Suzuki Espresso going down a hill in the rain. So the Espresso performed well going up hill. Now we're going to test it going down hill. Okay, that's a round 
Kasi kung laksan ka ito, no? Kaya malamig. Malamig nga. <laughs> Grabe. <laughs> so yun, hope you like and subscribe. And see you around sa next episode natin. Bye-bye.